Today for Benin, we are cooking my favorite part of cooking any country, which is the dessert. So we are making uh, bananas in a brown sugar pineapple sauce as a topping for ice cream. For the bananas in the brown sugar pineapple sauce, the main ingredient obviously is the pineapple juice. So I have six ounces of pineapple juice and I'm gonna put that in a deep dish on the stove. I also have two tablespoons of lemon juice, one quarter teaspoon of vanilla, and three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. So, there we go. I'm gonna mix this together and make sure that it's all combined. The brown sugar is gonna dissolve into the juice. Now normally this recipe in Benin is made with orange juice, but I wanted to change it up a little bit. I really like pineapple juice, and so I thought that I wanted to try it with pineapple juice instead of orange juice. I really, really like it this way. But if you want to make it with orange juice, instead you can use six, six ounces of all natural orange juice like squeezed from an actual orange. So my brown sugar is all mixed in here, and I'm gonna leave this over a medium flame. Make sure it's on medium here. I'm gonna leave it over a medium flame for about 10 or so minutes, and you'll start to be able to see it bubbling. It's gonna get a little bit thicker, a little bit caramelized, and I'll show you along the way how it looks. And then at the very end, we're gonna put the bananas in. In case you are ever a left-handed person that goes to Benin, just keep in mind that it is incredibly rude, considered incredibly rude, to eat with your left hand in Benin, to shake hands with your left hand or anything else of the sort. The left hand is only used for bathroom purposes. Okay, so it's a fine line in knowing when your sauce is ready, but it should be thick um, and bubbling, as you can see, but not bubbling too hard. You don't want it to cook too long because if you cook the sugars for too long, they'll start to harden a little bit. So when you can see that it's thick, that it's bubbling, you can tell that the sauce is a little bit thicker than it was when you started, that's how you know it's ready to put the bananas in. So I have my bananas sliced horizontally, down, is this horizontally or vertically? Down the middle, whichever way. <laughs> sliced down the middle, and we're gonna put them, the cut side down, in the sugar. Now, I like to use uh, the greenish bananas. If you use bananas that are too brown or have spots on them already, it'll be really hard to get them out of this mixture without them breaking apart. So I try to use bananas that are, have just turned yellow. Now that my bananas are in here, I'm gonna use this spoon and just kinda of spoon the mixture over the bananas here, just to make sure that we can caramelize the top and the bottom. Now, you're just gonna leave these in here until the bananas are cooked through. So it'll probably be maybe five to eight-ish minutes, depending on how high your flame is. You want to make sure that they're cooked through, but that they're not too soggy. The first time that I made these, I cooked them for too long and they were really, really fragile when I went to take them out. So I would say to cook them for no longer than about eight minutes. Okay, I've continued spooning the sauce over and now I'm just gonna leave them here to cook. Some really popular food staples for cooking in Benin are tomato-based sauces, palm oil, peanut oil, and yams. So our bananas are beautifully caramelized in our pineapple sauce and now it's time to serve them up. So I have two different types of ice cream here, some vanilla and some chocolate. If you have a huge sweet tooth like myself, you can also use pralines and cream. That's a really nice ice cream flavor for this. But I'm just gonna scoop them out, put them in this bowl, and then we're gonna put the bananas and the banana sauce on top. Do a little more scoop here. Fill this bowl up nice and good. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now there's four banana halves in here. I'm gonna take two and put them in this bowl. Use a fork to serve them. Now you have to be really careful. It's really difficult to get these out of the pan without breaking them. So I like to use two utensils and I just kinda scoop them over. And I'll do one on the other side as well. Can I do it? Oh, okay, perfect. And now I'm going to scoop some of this sauce over the top because that is the best part. If you have a really big sweet tooth like myself, you could put a lot of sauce on here, but it's really sweet. So if you only like a little bit of sweetness, just put a couple spoonfuls. Okay, it's ready to eat. Take a scoop of vanilla, a little bite of banana. Oh my goodness, 
It's really good. I'm a big, I'm a big, big sweets gal, big ice cream gal, and a big banana gal. So this is probably my heaven in a bowl, and it's delicious. But the recipe is gonna be on my blog, www.foreignfork.com. And next week, we'll be back with a recipe from Bhutan. So it was nice to see you guys, and I'm looking forward to seeing you again next week. So if you all are really liking these videos and you want to see more of them, then remember to just hit the subscribe button down there, and then that way you can make sure not to miss anything else.